Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> if I don't seem enthusiastic about it being a day a day, oh my, there's a gouge in there. I didn't even see that. I just felt it. Um, I am excited to bring this video to you. I just have a sore throat, so it's hurting a little bit to talk. So let's just get right into this box. Let's just open it up. The way I like to open it up is stick my fingernail in it. Okay, I can't do it holding it that way. Stick my fingernail in it and just slide her down. And that cuts open the tape. Did that gross anybody out? Is that like doing that? Is that like fingers on a chalkboard? That doesn't bother me either. So, got my return bag. Got my um, <clears throat> look inside for stylus tips. And this is a different box from Dia, isn't it? Because look, it's got all this stuff on the inside too. Oh, welcome to the party. We're happy you're here. Style and solutions serve daily. Oh no. I sound like a teenage boy going through the change in his voice. All right, so let's see what it says. I'll read this and get back with you. Okay, so I read it. Let's see what's in here. I have $307 worth of merchandise. If I were to buy anything, I'd get my $20 off or back, which would be then the $287. And then if I were to buy everything, I'd get another $25 off, which is $76.75. So in that case, I would pay $210.25 for the whole shebang, which apparently is a denim jacket. Oh, I don't need a denim jacket. It's a dark wash, uh, Jessica Simpson brand. Uh, a boyfriend jean in a dark wash and cut from the cloth, which probably isn't going to fit. <laughs> I know how they work. A sleeveless top from Downing Studios. A lattice shoulder tee. Ooh, it's in Kelly Green, not my favorite color. Um, and then for Mary Sky, a high low dress in navy and white for 2X. So let's see. We got my initial impression from the invoice. Now let's see the goods. Live. <coughs> Live. Ooh, I like the fabric. This is from Downing Studio. Ooh, this is really sheer. I wonder if that's big enough, because I think it's meant to be flowy. But I do like the fabric. I don't know what it is, but it is definitely light. This looks like something for the summer for sure. Let's see if I can find a fabric tag. 50 cotton, 50 rayon. I like it. I like the design of it and everything. So that's off to a good start. Next says Mary Sky. As you can see. And this is the, must be the navy and white dress. Make sure I don't have a dog behind me before I go back. Okay. Well, first off, this dress looks kind of small, doesn't it? Or it does to me. <clears throat> to me. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm doing it all wrong. Uh, that's how it goes. Well, that's interesting. And the back has where that uh, part crosses over here. Let's see. And the front. You know, this is, I might like this if it fits. feels like linen and gauzy kind of fabric. Let's see what it is. Oh, and it's lined. Lining's poly. I can tell that already. But the dress is 100% rayon and the lining is 100% polyester. And it's the knitty polyester, not the silky kind or crepey kind. So yeah, I think that's cute. I, it's hard to tell exactly what this is going to look like. What I've seen of it is cute. I think till you get it on. Next is the green. Okay. It's an okay color in green. I wasn't sure what they meant when they said. Um, I bought one of these green t-shirts once. This is Mary Lane. Because I was trying to just step outside of my color zone. And uh, I don't wear it because it's clingy. And I think I put it in a giveaway bag. I think I wore it one time. Maybe this one wouldn't be as clingy. I don't know. It's got um, a lot of seams in the back. The front seems to be no seams. Or maybe those are folds lines. No, it's just the one seam in the back. It's very, very soft. I wonder if it's clingy though. 
It'd be interesting to try it on. All right, so this appears to be the denim jacket. Now I have a denim jacket that's made, it's not made like a blazer, but it pulls in at the waist with a band. Uh, it's just more structure and it isn't waist high. It's, you know, mid hip all the way. Well, I'm trying to think, does it cover your bottom completely? I don't remember. Uh, it's cute. This is a very normal jacket. Mine is not as normal. The arms look pretty skinny though for a plus size. Hmm. But it is cute. It's very, you know, uh, all the right things that I would think a denim jacket would have. And with Jessica Simpson's name all over everything. <laughs> I have seen some cute clothes that she's had her name on, so I am not throwing shade at all. I don't know if I want her name all over all the buttons, but yeah, but uh, I've definitely seen some cute things that carry her label. And last are the cut from the cloth boyfriend jeans and the dark wash. They look like they'd be short. Maybe not. They do have some stretch. Oh, that very thready looking denim. I think I have one pair that's like this. I will refrain judgment till I try them on. But yeah, haven't had good luck with this brand in the past. So, all right, as you can see behind me, I have another clothing box that was supposed to have gone back four days ago. So I need to get to trying things on. I also have a trunk club that I filmed, but the my cute computer, my desktop computer, will not up upload it to YouTube. I don't know why. I've done all the things you're supposed to do to make it happen. It worked the day before, all of a sudden will not um, send anything to YouTube. So I gotta figure that out. So, see you soon. All right, so the first item is the little tank top. which I think is cute and I have very high hopes for it, but it's got this thing going on where it sticks out. I don't know, maybe with summer clothes that's not that big a deal, but I noticed in trying to figure out how I could alter it, then it makes the bra show, so I don't know. I do like it. I like the fabric feels good. Um, I think it's a cute Florida summer vacation, you know, not your everyday tank top. I do like it. Oh, it's a high-low, isn't it? I didn't even realize that till just now. But So let's go try on something else. Okay, so we'll start with the green t-shirt. I did not realize before, but it has lattice sleeves. It's a little cute detail. It also has a scooped hemline. Super soft fabric, but it is light. Obviously it has spandex. It's a little clingy right here. So not crazy about that part, but it is comfy. But I do like it. But yeah, uh, clinginess is not my friend. So next are the, uh, I don't know if they're just considered capris or jeans. They are rolled up to where, you know, you would wear them like capris. They are cut from the cloth. And as far as cut from the cloth goes, I think this is the best fitting pair I've had. I like that about them. They fit in the legs pretty good. They're snug but not tight, uh, but they are very, very loose here. I mean, yeah, very loose here. Which means that because they're snug in the legs, that even though I pull them up so that the crotch seam is in the right place, when I walk they kind of pull down. The legs kind of pull them down a little bit. And because the waist is so loose, they will end up way down and then I'll have the baggy crotch and the baggy butt. Um, yeah, see if I pull this up to waistline, then this is better. But left on its own accord, <laughs> I'll start end up getting a very baggy butt. So, I don't know about them. Uh, I do have another pair that kind of looks the same, only they have distressing. And I wore them recently and I thought, why don't I wear these more? Because I really like the look of the curled up jeans uh, that are kind of capri length. But um, then I realized that was because they have distressing and distressing kind of limits 
where I can wear them. I certainly can't wear them to work. That is absolutely against the rules of any distressing. Um, and then even some restaurants I wouldn't wear them to. Uh, like this to me just looks, for some reason in my head, just looks better than the same thing but with distressing. So, but anyway, these are those two items. And let's see, may as well just add, no, I'll add the next one to the dress. So we got a dress and a jean jacket left to go. Okay, so the jean jacket. A uh, jean jacket is a nice fit. I like it. It's really nice, pretty. It's uh, It's got stretchy to it. Arms are a little bit snug. Part of that is because I got a weird sleeve thing going on here. You'll see in a minute, but even the one that isn't, uh, a little bit snug, but not too tight. If I had to wear sweaters under this, then it might be a problem. Uh, but usually I wear a jean jacket over something sleeveless. But I think it's cute. And it seems very well made. It's nice and long. The sleeves are long. I guess if you were, you know, freakishly long armed like I am, you could just roll it up one, which I like that look. But I almost never get to do that because my arms are so darn long. Uh, I can almost do that. <laughs> I'm really close. I might, if it was unbuttoned, I might be able to do it. Uh, yeah, I really, really like this. And I never, you know, when I think of brands to go look at, I never think of Jessica Simpson. I guess I just think of her as a musician and reality star. I don't really think of her in terms of if I wanted to go buy a jean jacket. <laughs> but yeah, kudos, Jessica. It's very nice. Now, the dress has me completely confused. I don't know if I'm supposed to wear it like this or if this hangs down here. I honestly don't know. Um, I'm not being funny. I really cannot tell. Um, if it's supposed to be down, it's awfully low down. I think it would look better maybe if it were taken up to where it was like maybe like that. Can you see that with my hand in the way? Rather than drooping way down. As with many things, if this dress were moved up just a little bit, I think the fit would be a lot nicer. It has a band here, which would be nice, I think, if it were just a little bit higher. Uh, if it's supposed to hang down, it's pretty droopy down, but yet this, where this part covers your bra and stuff is really nice, so I don't know. I'm confused by it. <laughs> It feels pretty good. The whole bottom part is lined. The top part is not. But the top part has, you know, the double layer with this going on on both the front and the back. Oh. And it's a nice, whoop, almost fell over. It's a nice midi length. I don't know if you can see that back here. But yeah, it's a nice midi length. If I had on heels or any shoe at all, I had a little lift here. You alright there, puppers? My poor guy's getting so old. But yeah, it's, um, it's not flowy, but it is not tight. Yeah, it's nice. One thing about something that's real flowy, it has a lot of bulk and size down here, so this doesn't do that so much. But picture it just hiked up just a little bit like that. When I hike it up, it actually stays for a moment before it slides down. So, this is the dress and the last item. So let's go see what's going to go on the hanger and what's going back in the bag to Dianco. Okay, clothes are all tied on, decisions are made, so let's go through my unbundled bundle. Uh, let me get out my price list and stuff because I actually opened this several days ago and I've kind of forgotten. Okay, so we'll just start with the Okay, cold spring, cold shoulder, high low dress. Well, that answered the question when it, I asked where these go. If it's cold shoulder, they should hang down on the shoulder. They hung down too far from me. I would have to maybe put in something that ruffled them maybe a little bit. And so it brought them up. But anyway, navy and white, 2x, $55. Price is right. Uh, price is very good. However, um, I didn't find this completely flattering on me. Even when I moved it to where, you know, like if I were to take up just a little bit on this, which would be easy to do. This dress would be very easy to alter. Both that and the cold shoulderness. I could just, you know, make this have like a seam here and you pull it, put um, thread through, pull it, and it 
bunches it up or whatever. I think that would look really good actually. Um, but I think the reason this didn't look that good on me is the fabric. Yeah, the fabric's a little light. I mean, I like the fact of it being lightweight for Florida, but when I say light in this case, I mean it doesn't have a lot of hand, is the word. Um, I don't want to say inexpensive, but I think a little bit higher quality fabric would have looked a little better on me. If you're, you know, I remember, you know, being way thinner and I could wear things like that because it didn't, it didn't accentuate bad things. I didn't have bad things to accentuate or whatever. Of course, I thought I did. Um, but now I have to be careful. I, you know, something that's clingy or something that just doesn't have quite the sturdiness to it just shows all the things I don't want to show. So anyway, long and short of it, I'm um, sending this back mostly because the fabric is unflattering on me. So first item in the bag and on its way to Indiana. Next item is the Jessica Simpson jacket, denim jacket. And it is the Amy denim jacket in the dark wash 2X, $79 really really like this jacket I thought it was flattering arms are a little tight so if you're a 2x if you have big arms I don't know you might consider a 3x I don't know it wasn't bad but if you wear it over like sweaters and heavier you know like a sweatshirt or something and you had bigger arms it would be a problem uh, wearing it over something sleeveless not so much um, yeah I really really like it however I have a fantastic Tommy Hilfiger one and it's not this as I think I mentioned before not this traditional style here it's a little bit more of a jacket looking than just the yeah but I have one in this exact style in white so I guess I really am not in need of it if I decide that I am in need of another traditional denim jacket I will definitely uh, see if I can find the Jessica Simpson one because I think it's well made comfortable and I liked it. But for now, it's going in the bag so that I am not buying things that I do not need. Alright, so the next are the Cut From The Cloth Boyfriend Jeans. They are the Clark Boyfriend Jeans for $89. Um, I'm going to give these a try. <laughs> I have already made the decision that I am uh, decluttering my closet specifically my jeans <laughs> definitely my jeans because early on in getting style boxes I kept a lot of jeans that I probably wouldn't keep today I've gotten pickier it used to be I would settle because when I went shopping I found nothing so I would settle for a lot of misfit these don't fit in the top they're too big but I can easily take these in and that will help with that they won't slide down and that isn't really a hard seam it's just two little triangles in the waistline or four if I want to do it that way but probably two and uh, yeah so I'm gonna give these a try because I really like them for everything except the fit in the waistline if I take that in they won't slide down I think it'll be great and I will get rid of probably my sleep jeans and some of those that early on I thought oh, finally something <laughs> that fits almost <laughs> and uh, like I say the more style boxes you get the pickier you get so for now these are going on a hanger although they're not really going on a hanger because they're jeans comment below do you hang your jeans I fold I fold them and put them on a shelf so they are staying either way all right so next is the t-shirt and this is the second time I've gotten a green t-shirt I kept the first one I regret it because like this one it was clingy and actually I like this one better than the first one that I kept but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna really use the other one with active wear just over yeah anyway uh, this is cute I do like that green is not my favorite color it's not that I don't think that I look bad in green I just don't care for green I know isn't that terrible yeah I like the outdoors I like plants I like all those greens but for some reason I don't like wearing green it always looks I know this is gonna sound weird but it always looks like paint to me like it doesn't look like a real green in nature it always looks fake for me and I know green's a super popular color but so I, I know I'm in the minority it's okay I can live with that all right so the Kelly green Jackie v-neck lattice shoulder tee for $35 looks like a good price 
uh, very soft seems pretty well made seam down the back and stuff but just like the dress it's the fabric that's gonna um, send it back if this were in a little bit heavier cotton kind of like the stuff that Raffaella uses for some of their stuff I probably would have kept it I don't know if I got past the green I try and embrace green sometimes but for now in the bag bye bye welcome to Indiana all right last item is the Carrie sleeveless top in azure blue and white 2x $49 so this is a $50 top I do like it but it definitely has fit issues around the armholes and the bust and when I tried working with the fabric to cover up one thing it created another I don't think it would work for me no I think it's I think it's made for someone maybe with bigger bigger bust line I'm not sure or Maybe I actually just need a size down. It's a 2X. But I do like the fabric. And it's uh, you know, gauzy and cool and flowy. So it has so many of the things that I like. And uh, yeah. If it uh, didn't have the fit issue, I would definitely keep this. But for now, it is going back to Dia and Co. Which leaves me with just the jeans. But I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I think there's been a lot of style boxes here lately. <laughs> so I'm happy with uh, my purchase of the jeans and they are $89 and I will get $20 off of them so what I will actually pay for them on top of my $20 already paid which I wouldn't get back if I hadn't purchased something but I didn't buy them for that reason but anyway I'm just saying that it's already spent so uh, so the difference would be bring these down to $69 so and I think you know both $89 and $69 is a fair price for a good pair of jeans and it's funny that after all these years I finally got a pair of cut from the cloth that I can wear thanks so much for watching my video I do hope that you will like this video subscribe to the channel and give me comments below I like reading them I do my best to answer all of them sometimes your comments come at a time when I can't and sometimes I have a little hard time maneuvering, finding older comments. You know, I'm slow. What can I say? I'm slow on this stuff. But again, thanks so much. Um, have a great weekend. Or this might even be during the week when I post this. Whenever it is, I hope your day is grand.